made it out to the beach and today my dad and I are going to be catching some big ass fish. Dad, what's the goal for today? We're going to use this ocean rod that I bought for you almost 20 years ago to catch some giant sharks and skates and stingrays. Sounds like a pretty good plan. First thing first, let's get the pole set up. All right, where is a good place to stick my spike? Uh, I think right here is pretty good. Ah, just gotta jam it right in there nice and hard. Twist it around a little bit. There we go. As a lot of you guys know, I'm not the best saltwater angler, but today I've got a few tricks up my sleeve and I think we're gonna make something happen. The goal, I wanna catch a six foot sand tiger shark. Here's the gear we're working with today. I've got a uh, one surf rod and two bass rods. The main event rod, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be running some heavy gear. Picked up a nice shark rig from the bait store. Five ounce weight and uh, a secret bait I'm about to pull out. I actually caught it yesterday. I think, uh, I think the sharks are gonna like it. So reach into my bag of bait right here. Oh yeah, a lot of nasty stuff. We got some frozen squid. We've got some uh, nasty looking blood worms. Fresh bunker, so this bunker is actually pretty good. This could be a player. And caught right from the inlet yesterday, right here. Beautiful shad. So let's go ahead and uh, cut this sucker up. The bait guy said the sharks like big pieces, so we're not gonna be stingy here. Just cut this guy right in half. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get this out there. If you guys have ever surfed fish, the number one absolute key to catching fish is being one with the ocean. You gotta get out in the water and feel it. You gotta feel where to cast. Oh, it's feeling good. It's feeling good in here right now. I'm feeling... Woo! Ah! All right, we're good. I'm feeling some sand tiger sharks over at 11 o'clock. All right. Oh, crap. Here we go. Launch the sucker out there. You ready? Oh, oh sh**. All right, that went about two feet. All right, mulligan, mulligan. Mulligan, boys. I, uh, I let go too fast. Woo, all right, here we go. Take two, baby. All right, rod number two. We've got the classic seven foot, three inch bass rod. Good for uh, shaky heads, good for, you know, some finesse stuff. Uh, also pretty good for catching some giant blues and kingfish. We're gonna put a little bit of squid and some fresh bunker on this rig. Hmm. Struggling with this baiting right here. All right, not my best bait job, but it'll do. We'll make it work. Let's get out here. Let's give him the old seafood sampler. Huh. Might have something on. You have something on? Did yeah. you? You got fish? Look at it. I, is that fish? I don't. Is, is, something. Is it actually? We're looking at bending. I I don't think it's. Uh, we'll see. Does it feel like a fish? Uh, all I know is the rod's bending. Did you see a bite? Yeah. Okay. There's no. There's nothing wrong with the bait. What? There's nothing. There's nothing. The bait is completely intact. Well, what, what about the top rig? Uh, it looks like it might have been chewed on a tiny bit. Uh, okay. Good try. Good try. Well, it's good that you're alert at 5:30 in the morning. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what happens when you use bass tackle in salt water. I am literally co completely out of line, as if you guys can see. Hopefully I don't catch too big of a fish. How do you leave a wedding ring in the sand? In the ocean. Oh, that's a fish right there. That's a fish. Oh, do you see that pool? Yeah, yeah. Is that what it looked like for you? Yeah. Okay, it looked like that? Uh, that was definitely a bite. Oh, let's, let's check this out. And then when I 
was really it in. I set the hook and it felt like uh That was a big ass. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. I got him. I got him. I got him. There we go. That's fish number one. All right, that's how you gotta set the hook, Dad. You need a good hook set. Now you tell me. <laughs> Here we go. Fish number one from the surf. Whew. All right, what do we got here, boys? Come here. Come here. Oh. All right. Oh, skate. <laughs> yeah, skate. Skate. That's not a. Oh, that is a, that's some interesting markings. Though. Is that a like a tiger skate or something? What is that? I don't know. We caught a lot of skates. They never look like. Oh dang! Before. I look. I hooked them right on the side too. Good hook. Ooh. Right, let's get this guy up Ooh. here. Let's take a look at him. Do they have spines? Can they hurt you? Um. Or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the tail. Yeah. yeah the tail is very uh, sharp, and it's got barbs. Ooh. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Nice and gentle. Ooh. All right. Here we go, buddy. Fish catch number one. The tiger skate. Not quite the tiger shark. Sorry if I'm not handling correctly, guys. I don't know the correct way to handle these guys, but just let me know. Let me know in the comments. This is fish catch, or catch number one. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. All right, see you later, skate. There we go. All right, he's off. He's out of there. Back to the depths. Woo. Good job, Dad. Catch number one. Dolphins are out there. The shark rod has a lot of slack. Huh. They shouldn't have any slack in it. That may be a bite. Hey dad, I think it's supposed to get in a bite. Feels like a bite. Yeah, it's a bite. I think it's a bite. Is that fish? No, I don't think so. Oh, it was a fish. I could tell. Yeah. What? Baby shark. Oh my God. Baby shark. Holy crap. The old dogfish. Did you feel it? Yeah. Did I could feel it? Yeah. It's very hard to tell, but I could I could feel it. Oh my gosh. On the bloodworm guys, little uh little dogfish. This guy is tiny. And the uh, the cool thing about the shark skin is it feels uh feels like sandpaper. Most fish have a very slimy coating, but these dogfish definitely do not. I get my hook. There we go. There he is guys. Little shark. Alright. Bite on here. Let's get the bite on this one. Just go for the hook set. Let's see if you can do it. Let's let's wash your hook. So reel it, start reeling. Oh stop, stop, stop. Alright, start reeling and set the hook hard. Go, set the hook. Oh my god, I almost got you. Oh, uh, 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 that's a good hook set though. I right, reel it in. I almost got you back for the uh, that's okay. yesterday. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know what happened yesterday. When my dad and I were fishing for shad, I, uh, I almost hooked them in a place you don't really want to get hooked. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at that clip right now. See the current right there? The hit, if you just, you just gotta cast it a little bit past the current and just reel it straight. And right when it gets to the still water, you'll get a bite. Really? Yeah. Just let trip down? Yep, right there it is, that's me. He missed it though, he missed it. There it is. Oh, <laughs> Holy sh <laughs> Get that on the tape. You hit me in the nuts. I did. All right. Miss hooks it, my dad. My bad, dad. Let's get that. Good uh... thing I'm done having kids. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a little dangerous. Sand crab. Oh. Fishing's a little slow right now, guys. I'm looking for uh, some new bait. And uh, this little guy, he's not big enough. We're going to let him go. Let's watch him go. Go into the sand, be free. Oh, he's struggling. All right, the sand's a little too hard for him. Sorry, buddy. Here you go, now be free. There he goes. All right, he's in there. All right, I need to find a big sand crab to use as bait. I feel like that might change our luck around a little bit. Come on, big sand crab. Give me a big mama. Oh, yes. 
Hell yeah. All right, right here, guys. Yeah, I reel it in. I got a secret weapon. Here's how we're going to change our look around. We're going to give him the Sand Flea Bloodworm Smorgage Board right here. Soft shell Sand Flea. Hard shell Sand Flea. Calm down, buddy. Oh, yeah. So what's going to happen is whatever fish are down there, they're going to sense the vibrations of the Sand Flea. And then they're going to attack. heavy it feels heavy this feels really heavy what the heck this feels heavy shark rod there's something on here I got something I got something holy crap oh it's a horseshoe crab a horseshoe crab, no, crab. yeah yeah not a shark you got it. Oh. wait another one there's two did I catch two that double up Oh, oh my God. damn! You might have had well, two I had on two on. Thing. I had a double. I actually doubled up on them. Yeah. Dang. All right. Check this out. All right, boys. Whew! Have not had a bite in over an hour. We got this guy right here, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Tail. I don't even think horseshoe crabs can hurt you. I'm pretty sure they can't. I'm pretty confident they can't hurt you. Let me try to get him out. He's not Probably even hooked. Because at the Atlantis, they um. Put them in the petting tank, but the question yeah. is, do they still have the, the tails? I wouldn't let him go. Let's let him go, Dad. Yeah, if we put him down, will he find He'll his way? Yeah, start, start no, uh, further up. No, let's see. There he goes. Go, buddy. Don't worry, the wave's coming in. Go back to the ocean. Go back to your home. That was the hardest part of the day, actually. The double up on horseshoe crabs. You didn't see the other yeah, one. The other yeah. one's bigger. Yeah, yeah, you doubled up. They both came in. Yeah, guys, we got about 20 minutes left to fish before I go get some breakfast. Then later on, I'm hitting the inlet. That's a fish. There we go. What is this on the pink rub? What do we got here, boys? They're pretty good, whatever it is. Is it what I'm looking for? Hell yeah. That's the target species, boys. On the pink grub. Flounder. Whew. My first flounder ever. All right, how do we hold this guy? Mmm. Man, look at those eyes. Ah. Calm down, buddy. Stop. Oh, got you. Got you. Whew. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Two eyes on top of his head. Completely, oh, white belly. I let him go. Has a couple teeth. I think this is how we hold him. That's what I was looking for, guys. Flounder. I wouldn't let him go. See you, buddy. I caught that fish a lot faster than I expected. The internet reports actually said that the uh, flounder were hitting pink and chartreuse grubs. So I picked some up from the bait store and I came out here, the water's murky, so I figured uh, a fluorescent color like hot pink might do well. But the bad news is there's a ton of rocks here and that's exactly where the flounder live. I actually lost about four bucktails or so which you guys uh, did not happen to see. So right here we got a, I'm a bass fisherman, switched up to a little bass rig. We've got the weedless drop shot. A 2 aught extra wide gap hook with a, uh, what is this, 4 sixteenths, quarter ounce cylindrical drop shot weight. And I'm just fishing this guy along the bottom and it's coming through, it's going through those uh, hordes of rocks just about perfectly. So that's one flounder down. Let's see if I can, uh, see if we can upgrade a little bit. 